Welcome back to another episode of the Tacho Show. Now today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new GHB unit, who is Panette. Very exciting character from Engage that a lot of people like, and it's nice to get some Engage representation out of the Choose Your Legends batch, even though unfortunately none of the Engage characters actually won. <laughs> so here we go with Panette, everybody's favorite goth girl. So if we go ahead and take a little look at her stat line here, she's got 49 HP. 48 attack, 41 speed, 35 defense, and then 24 res. Now, she's got a super boon on attack, and what's interesting about her is that her two highest stats are HP and attack. Very rarely do you see HP stats this high anymore, given the state of the game right now. What they've been doing is just dumping HP lower than 40, and then that being an excuse to raise everything else through the roof. <laughs> but not quite the case with Panette. Her defense is okay and her speed is like okay but none of them are really pushing any boundaries here so she has a very interesting and unique stat spread here to work with which is perfectly fine and of course being from the brand new choosy legends batch that means that her bst is top of the line this is as high as it gets right now for infantry melee and the fact that she comes with a perf weapon as well means she's going to be one of the highest scoring units you can build up free to play so we take a look at her perf weapon, Berserker Axe. It's got minus one special trigger and then also at the start of turn for herself and allies in two spaces. If they have maximum cooldown value, she's also going to pulse them once again. <laughs> so she herself is getting minus two cooldown essentially from this. And then allies are getting minus one if they happen to have their max cooldown at the start of battle, which uh, most of the time that's going to be the case. It, it only isn't the case after... <laughs> that unit has entered combat and such and such. Then also, if the foe initiates combat on her, or if her enemy's HP is over 75% at the start of combat, then she's getting a bonus to all of her stats equal to 25% of the enemy's attack at the start of combat minus 4. Unfortunately, this is at the start of combat. Had it been in combat, you would have easily been able to see the maximum value here, which is 14. But at the start of combat, you're going to need the enemies to have 72 visible attack for this to gain the maximum 14, which, I, considering where attack stats are right now, and the fact that a lot of people run raw attack boosting passives like Verge of Death and Still Water, or rather Crystalline Water now, you're most likely going to get the full 14, but not always, because like 72 raw attack, I, I think a, a better number would have been like around 66, 66-ish, but uh, 72 is a little bit high, but still. 14 points of all stats is pretty good for a perf weapon on a GHP. Then she also makes a guaranteed follow-up, and then she deals damage equal to damage dealt to herself. So she essentially has a vengeance type of effect built into her, where the less HP she's got, the more damage she's going to do as true damage. The maximum here is 30, and it also explains why her HP is so high. And then she also deals 15% of her attack as true damage as well. <laughs> so, th this unit's going to be hitting hard, right? Like, in Engage, the playstyle with her was to run her as a Berserker and give her Wrath and Vantage and just get her HP low, and then she can clap all the enemies with monster crits that just wipe them out right there. <laughs> so, similar playstyle here, which is cool that they kind of kept her in the same spirit as she was in Engage. Then as far as passives go, we have Dragon Fang here as her special. We've got Fire Boost 3 and then Panic Smoke 3. Nothing too crazy here as far as fodder is concerned. Panic Smoke is okay though. Panic Smoke 4 is decent enough of a level 4 skill, so that's not too shabby. And then Fire Boost 3, of course, the level 4 boost skills, the Gold Border ones are pretty good. Especially giving her HP up 5 to raise her HP even further. So th that's probably what the thought process was by giving her that. Okay, so now let's compare her to her contemporary units, the two previous Axe Infantry Grand Hero Battle and Tempest Trial units. So we have Lifeguard to do, and then we have also Summer Vake. Now, keep in mind that Dragon Flowers have also increased by 5 once again. So Panette is right now at plus 5 because she's part of the recent batch of units. Whereas everything prior is now at 5 extra flowers, so Vake and Didu got 10, more, 10 possible flowers, and Panette is 5 behind them. So as far as HP goes, she's got 50, and she's just beating both of them. 
Vake is pretty close. He's got 48, and then Dudu is one point below Vake at 47. So her HP, while it being like one of her premier stats, is still not really eclipsing Vake in a super high amount. She's also got 49 attack with the Super Boon. Vake ties with her. He's got 49 attack as well, and then Dudu's got 48 attack. Then on speed, she's got 42. She is the fastest out of this group. Whereas these guys, they traded a lot of points of speed for more defense. Vake has 35, and then Dudu's got 22. He, Dudu definitely got the memo here. Just dump all your defense and then raise your defense and res through the roof. Then for Panette, we have 36 defense. We've got 44 on Vake, and then we have 49 on Dudu. So both of them are way better than her defensively on both spectrums, defense and res. They both eclipse her. She's got 25 res, and then Vake has 26. And Dudu's got 37. Maybe not so much Vake, but Dudu certainly is the tankier style of infantry axe if you wanted to build something like that. Whereas Vake is more so just like a brawler. But I would actually say Panette probably pulls it off better than Vake because her speed is not like negligible. Whereas this guy's speed is not going to do anything at all. At least Panette has a decent enough speed and she does have a super boon on speed also. So, with the right investment, you could be able to make something happen there. Whereas, I don't think Vake is in such luck. So, there we go with the stat spreads there. Now, let's take a look at arena scoring. These are the three highest scoring, or at least three most common arena units that you see built up. There's also, like, Vigard, who scores in the same bin as these guys. So, Fargus, New York Kana female, and then also Fallen Lloyd. They all score in the 764 bin. <laughs> but lo and behold, our proxy for Panette here, the Valentine Baby Hector, scores in the same bin as Panette and 766. So just a whopping two points higher, but <laughs> every point matters in Arena for scoring. So there you guys go. Panette is now the highest scoring free-to-play unit you can build up. So now let's take a look at some builds here. All right, we're going to start with this one here. This is the Miracle build. I do think Miracle is the best special to give her because... Her stat line, while it works out the way her weapon wants, where she wants to just take a chunk of damage at the start of the fight and then deal it back to the enemies as true damage, Miracle plays to that very well, where it keeps her alive guaranteed with 1 HP, and then it's going to allow her to clap with the maximum true damage of her weapon. So in order to maximize that, we have the Marth Ring here to get minus 1 on Miracle, and then Lagoo's Friend, which will give her minus 2 prior to the enemy's attack. So combine that with the minus two we're getting from Berserker Axe, and she just starts with Miracle immediately. So Distant Bonus Doubler and Bonus Doubler as the seal, and Null C Disrupt E also allows her to just counterattack anybody. So no one's going to get a leg up on her. And then you just counterattack with your big jump damage from Berserker Axe and probably delete the enemies right there on the spot. You're also getting some true damage out of Lagoo's Friend from 20% of her defense here, which can definitely help doing enough damage and then even attack wave n made the most sense because it's giving us the most amount of damage as well and then also a tad bit of healing also so we can hit the enemies get some hp back and then probably pull off the miracle thing again in the next round of combat so you can loop it over and over but i would recommend running some support on her such as breath of life 4 or also divine nectar so you can like get a more consistent reactivation for your miracle that way Okay, then we have this build here. This one is a little bit more conventional. So we're running Gust with the Celica Ring this time. Berserker Axe has minus one, as well as minus one as a Times Pulse. And then with Pulse Up Blades, we get minus one there at the start of every turn. So the idea would be to pre-charge your Gust before the first round of combat. And then with Distant Bonus Doubler and Null C Disrupt E, you can counterattack against anybody. And Gust is giving us 40% non-pierceable DR. We're getting 30% non-pierceable DR from Potent 4, which also gives her an extra attack as well, which can be pretty handful for dealing a lot of damage. And with Celica Ring, she can just jump all over the map. <laughs> so that would be the idea with this build. Just attack the enemies, try to survive with your true DR, and then get a bunch of attacks off with Potent 4. And then finally, this one is more so tailored for Arena specifically, where we can just run her as a full-on support. So Firestorm Boost is giving HP up 5, and then combine that with Infantry Pulse 4, and we're getting Double Pulse for allies with less HP than Panette at the start of turn with Berserker Axe. 
We also have attack and speed rules 4 here just to rally an ally, buff them, and then debuff the enemies. Distant counter melee because you have to run that for arena to get the maximum score. And then because we're already running that, might as well just go for null C disrupt E anyway. So th this would be like more so for arena, just a full on support build. But I would say probably her best build is the miracle build. But of course, miracle doesn't score high enough for arena. So if you're running her just for score, then you wouldn't be able to run that. So there you guys go. Those are our builds for Pinette. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're going to build her, this is your boy Tacho signing out. So take care, fellas, and I will catch y'all again on the flip side.